My name is Jose from Egypt, and this is my story, an epic journey that spans the ups and downs of my life. From the moments of glory to the darkest challenges, I invite you to lose yourself in the intricate weaves of fate that have shaped the course of my existence. From the first days of my existence, I was welcomed into the arms of the magnificence and enigma that permeated this country of unique beauty. Towering pyramids stood like guardians of time, while the majestic River Nile flowed like a lifeblood, feeding the land with its bounty. I grew up immersed in the search for the ancestral secrets of this unique land, delving into the depths of its intriguing history and the riches of its ancient culture. With every step, Egypt unfolded before me like a world of magic and wonder, where every corner held secrets waiting to be uncovered, and I, an avid explorer, threw myself into the journey with an insatiable thirst for knowledge, absorbing every detail. With deep enchantment and reverence, since I was very little, God gave me special gifts. I had dreams that seemed to come from another world, things that went beyond what people could understand. One night, I had a very clear dream, where I saw the stars bowing down to me, something that didn't make much sense to me at the time. Then, in another strange dream, I saw sheaves of wheat bending towards me, as if recognizing me as someone important. These dreams left me confused, but they also gave me a sense that there was something very special happening in my life, something guided by something bigger than myself. However, what happened next completely changed the course of my life. My own brothers, full of envy and resentment, decided to get rid of me once and for all. They threw me into a deep, dark hole, as if I were nothing. Then. They sold me as a slave to some traders who passed through the region. It was a very hard blow to be ripped from the safety of my home and taken to a strange land, where everything was unknown and scary. Loneliness and injustice became my most constant companions, as if they were shadows that followed me wherever I went. The pain of betrayal, coming from people I loved and trusted most, cut me deeply, leaving a wound in my heart that hurt a lot. But even so, deep inside me, a small flame of hope continued to burn, giving me the strength to move forward, even in the most difficult times. The storms that swept through my life did not shake my faith, on the contrary, they strengthened it. In the heart of the darkness of uncertainty, I held firm in the conviction that God was at my side, holding me with His mighty hand. He blessed me with the extraordinary gift of interpreting dreams, a skill that proved fundamental to the challenges that lay ahead. Each dream vision seemed to be a divine sign, a compass that guided me through the tortuous paths of existence, bringing comfort and direction in the darkest and most challenging moments. So, even in the face of the cruelest adversities, I remained confident in the certainty that God was weaving the invisible threads of destiny, shaping each chapter of my story with love and purpose guiding me towards my final destiny. After being sold into slavery, my journey took me to a new chapter in my life, the house of Potiphar, a highly prestigious Egyptian official. There, I took on a series of domestic responsibilities, dedicating myself diligently to the tasks assigned to me. Despite the adverse circumstances that had led me there, I maintained my dignity and perseverance, determined to show my worth even in the midst of servitude. As time passed, I earned not only the respect but also the trust of my Lord. My integrity and diligence in my work did not go unnoticed in the eyes of Potiphar, who soon entrusted me with increasing responsibilities in his household. Despite being a stranger in a strange land, I strive to honor the trust placed in me, always seeking to perform my duties in the best possible way. However, my faithfulness was severely tested when I was faced with a situation of great moral conflict. Potiphar's wife, seductive and cunning, tried to lure me into her charms, putting my integrity and loyalty at stake. Faced with this ethical dilemma, I made the decision to remain faithful to the principles and values that govern my conduct, refusing to give in to the temptation that presented itself before me. However, 
my refusal to succumb to the advances of Potiphar's wife had serious consequences. Unjustly accused of attempted rape, I was thrown into a dark cell where I faced loneliness and despair. Despite the cruel blow I suffered, I maintained my unshakable faith in God, trusting that He was with me even in the darkest and most challenging moments of my life. The prison experience was a time of isolation and desolation, where each day dragged on under the weight of loneliness and the unknown. However, it was in this dark scenario that I witnessed divine power in action, through the gifts that God gave me to interpret the enigmatic dreams that haunted my cellmates. A specific day marked the beginning of this extraordinary journey, when Pharaoh's cupbearer and baker were tormented by enigmatic visions that assaulted them in their sleep. Under heavenly guidance, I delved into the depths of these dreams, unraveling with precision their hidden meanings, revealing to the cupbearer the promise of restoration to his position of trust with the Pharaoh, while to the baker, unfortunately, I anticipated the tragic fate that was in store for him. However, even after the butler's release, his promises of gratitude quickly faded, leaving me adrift in a sea of bitter and painful oblivion that lasted for the long and painful two years of my confined existence. During the years of plenty, I dove headfirst into the challenge of ensuring that Egypt was fully prepared to face the difficult times ahead. Day and night, I worked tirelessly to implement my meticulous food storage plan. Every barn was carefully stocked, every grain of wheat meticulously saved for the lean days to come. Meanwhile, other neighboring nations, blind to the impending signs of famine, failed to prepare adequately, thus facing a bitter fate when the crisis finally came crashing down on them. As Egypt prospered, becoming a beacon of hope amid the darkness that enveloped the surrounding lands, my heart was filled with gratitude for being an instrument in the hands of destiny guided by divine providence to protect and preserve my people. Meanwhile, in the midst of my journey in Egypt, my family in Canaan was equally facing the challenges posed by famine. Desperate, my brothers decided to travel to Egypt in search of supplies, without the slightest suspicion that they were about to encounter the brother they had betrayed and sold into slavery so many years before. Determined to assess whether a true transformation had occurred in their hearts, I subjected my brothers to a series of tests, until I finally revealed my true identity to them. It was a moment of extreme emotion, marked by reconciliation and forgiveness, where love prevailed over any trace of bitterness from the past. Guided by divine providence, I brought my family to Egypt, where we were finally reunited after years of separation and suffering. Reuniting with my family was a moment of indescribable emotion. After so many years of separation and suffering, I finally had the opportunity to hug my brothers and reveal my true identity. The whirlwind of feelings that flooded my heart at that moment was overwhelming. Seeing the look of surprise and disbelief on the faces of those who had betrayed me in the past, a mixture of forgiveness and understanding came over me. Despite everything we had been through, brotherly love spoke louder, and together we shared tears of joy and reconciliation. Alongside my family, I realized that each turn of life had been guided by a divine hand, weaving the invisible threads of destiny to lead us to that moment of union and forgiveness. In that tight embrace, I felt redemption sealing the wounds of the past and hope blossoming for a future of peace and harmony between us. My journey was a true saga, full of challenges and adversities that, although arduous, were instruments in God's hands to shape my character and strengthen my faith. With each obstacle overcome, I realized His sovereign hand acting in my life, transforming my pain into opportunities for growth and my suffering into a greater purpose. Each chapter of my story is a living testimony to God's unconditional love and unfailing faithfulness, showing that He is able to use even the darkest moments to fulfill His divine plans. Thus, in the midst of uncertainty and tribulations, I found comfort in the certainty that, with God by my side, no storm is capable of shaking me, as He is the great author and protagonist of my story. I am Jose from Egypt, and this is the saga that defines me.
May each battle fought and each triumph achieved serve as a beacon for those who find themselves lost in the shadows of despair. May this story inspire everyone to believe, to maintain unshakable faith, and to understand that, even in the darkest hours, the flame of hope never goes out. For in every challenge lies an opportunity for growth, and in every victory, a glimpse of the promising future that awaits those who persevere. So, may these words resonate beyond the pages of time, echoing the truth that the best is always yet to come, for those who trust in the power of divine providence.